Good morning. It is uh, what, Thursday now? Oh my god, it's almost the end of the week. And uh, I'm going to be showing you something cool to do with your coffee, uh, other than to drink it, that will help improve your skin. Uh, it's helped me quite a bit. It actually leaves it really smooth. But this is one of three remedies that I use for natural remedies for my skin instead of using anything else. I don't use anything else on my skin. Um, but I'm going to do that after breakfast because <laughs> I want to drink my coffee. But I'm going to show you what to do with, with the coffee grounds afterward. Uh, so for breakfast, I'm having gluten-free oatmeal. Gluten-free oatmeal, as you know, is pretty expensive. So I opted for Chex brand. Uh, they didn't have the original flavor, which ha it has nothing added to it. But this is maple brown sugar. There's actually no maple or brown sugar, there's just sugar. Whole grain oats, sugar, salt, and natural flavor. I don't like that term, but this isn't that bad considering how cheap this is. And if you're gluten-free and you like your oats, this is pretty. This is a pretty good option for you um, if you want to get some of that nutrition. Here's some golden flax I'm, I added into my oatmeal. 2,800 milligrams of omega-3s. A lot of people were asking me once I turned vegan, how do you get your omega-3s? How do you get your fatty acids? This is how. This and chia seeds. Um, I got some almond milk here. Uh, I, I only use unsweetened because it's versatile. I can use it in whatever. But this, unfortunately, has carrageenan in it, so I'm using this up as quickly as possible so I can, uh, not quickly as possible, but as soon as I know with that one, I'm not going to use that brand again. Um, sun-made raisins, nothing in it, no preservatives, no fat, obviously, no added sugar, it's just seedless raisins, and Mott's applesauce natural, natural, why? Because there's nothing in it other than apples, water, vitamin C, and hey, that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to mix that up, pop that in the microwave, have myself some delicious oatmeal and coffee and then just show you what to do with the coffee grounds afterward. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm done with my coffee and I wanted to show you with my camera on here because I haven't transferred photos and videos from another uh, device. So this is what I have to use. I'm using a trash bin. I'm putting it into my life so that it doesn't fall. Um, I have the coffee ground in here. And uh, wait until it cools down. You don't want scorching hot coffee grounds hitting me in the face. Um, I'm putting my hair up so that it doesn't get caught in my hair. I'm trying to, so when my hair's falling, but that's okay. Okay, parts that fall, just tuck them behind your ears, clip it, whatever. Um, now, all you do, take some of this, and yeah, it's going to be moist, that's okay. You're not going to get all of them, you're not going to need all of this. <laughs> Okay, so now all you do is just, you just wait a little while and then shake it off of your skin. Shake it off, shake it off. Blah. You're not going to get it all off and it's going to tint your face brown, <laughs> which to me is funny. Like I like looking in the mirror after this. Watch. Glowy. Well, no, you can't see it very well, but there's like powder on my face. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go wash this off. Just use cold water because cold water also helps to awaken the the skin. But then uh, afterward, use a moisturizer of your choice. Um, I like coconut oil. It's also good for for protecting you against the sun. But you'll see a difference because right now, especially with the the powder all over me, the brown powder from the from the coffee, you can see my imperfections, but uh, this is definitely something worth sharing. So, all right. So now I have washed the uh, the coffee off of my face, and 
immediately you will feel your skin feel different. I don't know how to explain the feeling, but it feels different. It's not, I don't know, it feels softer, but it also, it feels fresh. Like, like as, like, you know, when you buy that, that, uh, shampoo that has mint in it, that's what it feels like for your face. Um, afterward, I have some coconut oil, put a little bit more on here. Um, for coconut oil, I recommend uh, saving your money and buying the organic stuff for your food, but using just the regular uh, coconut oil that doesn't smell like anything. Um, using that for your skin because you're not going to eat it. It doesn't have to be organic, but you still get the benefits of the coconut oil when you when you use the cheap stuff. So this is the cheap stuff <laughs> that I'm using. Oh, it's 100% natural, but it doesn't have a scent or a flavor or anything. That's why I'm using it for this. I also scoop a little bit and rub it on my lips because it's good for dry lips. I'll show you different uses for this in another video. It's a great way to save money on skincare and get a lot better results, lasting results, instead of uh, having instead of having to spend a lot of money on your skincare. You just use basic ingredients, most of which you already All right, have. You guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, it's good to save money. It's good to for your skin, and it's just more natural and all that stuff. If you smell coffee on your skin, don't panic. Just, you know, wash it off with soap. Just use a gentle soap on your skin. Um, and then put the moisturizer in, and you should be ready to go. You won't smell the coffee anymore. Um, put some essential oils in there if you want it to smell a certain way or whatever. Or if, if you still uh, don't feel a little paranoid about the coffee. But it should be fine. Hell, I like the smell of coffee. But, um... I'm going to go and get a run-in, but I will be posting videos more often now, so I will see you guys later, and uh, make sure to comment and like if you found this helpful, and subscribe for more videos like this, because there will be more. Yay! Alright, bye. <laughs>